Microsoft Outlook provides numerous customization options, but unfortunately, these are not always easy to find. In this tip, you will learn how to modify the view of your calendar to accommodate special situations, including reporting events occurring in fiscal periods, such as a fiscal month that begins on January 1st and ends on February 4th. To modify the view of your calendar, open your calendar and then click on the View tab of the ribbon. Next, choose Change View and select List. Doing so creates a list or tabular view of your calendar. With that view open, click View Settings near the far left side of the View tab of the ribbon and choose Filter. On the Advanced tab of the Filter dialog box, click the drop down arrow next to Field and in the Frequently Used Fields section, choose Start. In this case, we will set the start filter equal to on or after 1-1-2012 and we will also add an ending filter of on or before February 4th, 2012 the last day of our fiscal month. After clicking OK, return to View Settings and note that you can customize many other options, including formatting, the columns that appear in the table, etc. Once you have completed filtering and customizing, click OK and click Change View and choose Save the Current View as a New View. Assign a name in this case we'll assign the name period 1 and click OK. Saving this view saves these settings so you will not have to establish them again for the same period. Of course you will need to repeat this process for as many fiscal periods as you wish to define and upon doing so you will be able to see all of your calendar entries for a given fiscal period by selecting that fiscal period with a custom view associated with it from Change View. Outlook's Custom Views function is one of the most powerful features in the application and it is not limited to operating solely on the calendar. You can use Custom Views to change virtually any type of information you store in Outlook. In this tip, you learned that it is very easy to create a custom view to allow you to establish your own fiscal periods in Outlook. Now it is up to you to figure out other creative ways to take advantage of this great feature. On behalf of everyone at K2 Enterprises, thanks for taking time to watch this video tip. For more information on the training courses we offer, please visit our website at www.k2e.com.